So hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to one of the most awaited chapters ever, right? Welcome to the world of freelancing. In the next four set of classes, we will be discussing a lot of things which will help you from going from just a person who knows skills to earning actual real world money, right? That's what we are going to do in this session, in the next session, uske baad ka section and also the fourth session after this right so welcome to the world of freelancing this is your first class the introduction to freelance my name is Tarun Arun video editing has changed my life and it can change yours too you know Tarun speaks quality quantity so hello everyone welcome back to class number 35 and uh, before we actually, you know, go to that point where we get clients, where we get paid and all of that stuff, let's actually know like what is freelancing? Like, what is freelancing? Kya hota? Right? See, if you're just a kid, I'll explain you as if you're like a five-year-old person. Okay? So first things first, imagine you have a special power or a special skill that only you have. Right? And then there are some people who actually need that skill. For example, in, in very layman terms, right, a person is there, he doesn't know how to cook, but you are a specialist in it, right? So, you have a cooking ka special skill, you know a person who needs it, right? So, you help them with cooking and in turn, they pay you, right? They pay you based on the job, right? They pay you based on the job, not on a, as an employee, right, right? So, this is the major difference, like a freelancing and a normal employee. So employee, he gets paid based upon the number of hours, right? Basically, you go to office five days a week, you stay there eight hours every single day, and then you do this for a month and you'll have a fixed set of uh, payment, right? But in terms of freelancing, you get paid based upon the work that you do. For example, imagine you're editing a video, right? So edit karna edit edit kardia, you get paid, that's it, right? Sometimes you also get paid on the basis of hours in freelancing. Okay? But yeah, just ignore all the fuss. What I'm trying to tell you is you have a special skill. You know people who actually need that skill. You help them and then you get paid. Right? That's it. That's a very simple thing. All right? So now getting into this you know, very simple thing. There are so many problems attached to it. Tarun, this looks very simple. No? Like, what are the problems? Right. For example, when I got started, uh, when I actually wanted to get started or imagine you want to get started with freelancing or imagine a layman of normal person wants to get started with freelancing. What does he need? He needs a special skill. So what is the skill to learn? How does he learn it? How much time will it actually take for him to learn it? And who will teach the skill man? Right. And next coming to the second thing for people who need like need the skill, right? How do you find them? Where do you find them? How do you keep a track of them? How do you find a person who actually needs a skill? How do you find a client? Right? That again has a lot of problems born to it. And then coming to the next thing, like how, like you want to help them, but do they actually trust you? Maybe not. Right? So that's one more problem. And then you need to get paid also. What is that issue? Will the payment be enough? How do you get paid more? All of this stuff. There's a lot of things, you know, which are very, very difficult to uh, do while you're freelancing. Right, that's why people also prefer like normal jobs or freelancing. But but yeah, if you're a normal student, if you're just getting into freelancing, right, this is a step-by-step -step guide. Right, the first thing is special skill. You already have it. Right, at this point of time, you know how to edit videos. Right, this is a growing skill. This is a skill that people want. This is a, a lot of people actually are making videos right now, which gets in a big market for you. Right, you already have a skill for you. Now going to the next thing, how do we find people who need it, right? But yeah, again, we'll talk about all these things later, but yeah. Now, all these problems which I just mentioned right now, right? What skill to learn, the skills ka segment is done. Next, people who actually need it, where do you find them? How do you keep a track of them? How do you help them? Do they trust you? All of these things. Don't worry about all of these things because in the next four classes, I mean in the next three classes or four classes, whatever it is, we will be answering all of these things and by the end of the chapter, if you actually focus well, you will have a client who will pay you more than the amount of money that you spent 
on this course right so just follow step by step and let's do it together okay so now coming on to next thing the spcc framework for freelancing what is spcc framework sp spcc what is this what is all of this sp framework very simple in a simple word s stands for skills that you have right p stands for the portfolio that you are building right and then c stands for the connections that you have right and then the last thing this is the credibility so if you have these things you have skills you have enough number of connections you have a portfolio to show to showcase your work we already had a special class on portfolio right where i actually gave you an introduction to portfolio how to make it what are the things to consider and all of those things what's that after this class again right before you actually make a portfolio and then the last thing is the credibility that you will be building all right so the spcc framework you don't need to remember all of this stuff i'm just telling you if you have a skill if you have enough number of connections even if you don't have enough number of connections don't worry because we will be building them right but again even if you don't have a portfolio don't worry because we will be helping you in the next session itself to build a portfolio skills you already have portfolio will be building in the next session connections i mean how to reach out to people how to get clients we'll be discussing again and final thing how to build the credibility that comes later right again with these connections or with the people that you reach out clients or whatever it is how to pitch the prices all of this like the psychology of pitching prices and all of these things we will be teaching you all right so we got you covered from the beginning till the end all right so one question that i have for you right now as you can see here are you ready right watch the portfolio ka introduction session which we already had previously we'll be uploading it here take okay? it and then we'll actually make one of the wonderful portfolios for you in the portfolio ka actual master class got it so with that being said welcome to the world of freelancing and this is your introduction class and then the next set of 3 or 4 classes will be amazing and if you do everything right as i actually told you if you follow all the steps if you actually follow and do the assignments as well you'll end up having at least one or two paid clients who will be paying you more than the amount of money that you spent on this course right so pura paisa was wapas i don't know i'm very bad at hindi but yeah anyways chalo we'll see you in the next class bye bye